What's up everybody? I am currently in France on our last day off of this tour. We have one more show tomorrow and it's Hellfest. And then after that, I get to go home. Uh, I will fly home on Sunday. Besides about a month ago being home for seven days, eight days, somewhere around there, uh, I've been gone for three months. So I am very much looking forward to uh, having some time off at home. I do have random shows throughout the summer that I have to fly to, but they're just like a single show like on a Saturday, so it's only like being gone for two or three days at a time. Uh, but I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to being home and uh, I'll be able to actually put up more videos more consistently um, as well. Uh, some news before I get into what this video is about, which is some games that I've picked up while over in Europe. Uh, some news on July 14th, um, we will be having a game trade day uh, at the Wagon Wheel Flea Market, um, and it's going to be like from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. or so. It was kind of a surprise to me <laughs> because uh, a friend of mine, Jeff May, he uh, made a Facebook group for it. Um, if I remember, I'll put the uh, link in the uh, about section of this video. And um, he's like, hey, we're going to have this event on this day. And I'm, you know, obviously I let him know I was going to be in town, but uh, it turned out to be you know, him, uh, myself, and then uh, Steve, Garage Sale Steve, we're going to be sort of putting on this little trade event. It's like, I don't know, a handful of tables for if people want to bring some games to lay out, sell, trade, whatever. Hopefully we get a little bit of a turnout. 15 or so people have said that they'll show up, you know, with like 30 or 40 <laughs> saying that they, they're interested. But um, if you're in the area, or if you're watching this and you live in the area, Tampa Bay area, Come on, uh, July 14th, Wagon Wheel Flea Market. It should be on row D. I'll put up more information like on the Facebook page and stuff once I have it, you know, for sure. But it should be like row D at the Wagon Wheel Flea Market. Um, also, that means I'll be able to film a decent video game sellers episode finally. I haven't filmed one in many months. Um, not only that, but at the end of July, I'll be at Retropalooza Houston, and I'll be able to film one there. So that's hopefully two VGS episodes uh, coming in the next month, month and a half. Looking forward to that. Of course, there'll be some garage sale or pawn shop videos mixed in here and there. Uh, like I said, more videos. That's always a good thing. And uh, I'll be home for most of the summertime. And I'm very much looking forward to it. If I didn't say that like four times now. Anyways, let's get started on these pickups. I have not had a lot of time to game hunt while over in Europe, mainly because most of the shows we've had are festivals. And they're out either in the middle of nowhere, they're not near a town, I don't have transportation while I'm over here, uh, you know, reliable like a car or something just to hop in and ride around, so game hunting has been a little sparse, but I, I have managed to get a few things, and luckily from uh, like a few fans of the YouTube channel, um, which I'll give you guys some shout outs as I show your games. Anyways, uh, first up, it's actually something I just bought. It's, I think it's the only game that I just straight up bought on this, this whole European run. And it is 1945 1 and 2 on the PS2. We did not get this in America. The way I collect like PAL release games is it's stuff that we didn't get in the States. Or it's at least vastly different than the version we did get. Um, and we did not get this, like, combo pack on the PS2 uh, in the U.S. So, pick that up, 1945, if you don't know, you know, it's a uh, shmup, shoot 'em up style game. Um, and I love those, so I definitely grabbed that. And I think I got it for 15 euro. Got this in Luxembourg at a super awesome little store that was, when I say little, I mean, it was very small. Smaller than my hotel room I'm in right now, for sure. And it had been there apparently since, like, the mid-80s or late-80s, you know, with different owners, but it had always been a little little game shop. And I was super sick that day. I'd actually just gone out to find something to eat, go back to my hotel, go, hotel room, go back to bed. And I it was right on the same road as the, the hotel, and I was like, there's a game store here. I got to go in. I'm sick, but I got to go in. So I went in for, like, 10, 15 minutes and, and found that, so... If you're ever in Luxembourg, there's a sweet old game store, 30-year-old game store there. Uh, next up, this came uh, from a fan, met me at one of the festivals. <clears throat> what was it? I don't think it was Download. Maybe it was Download. Been a lot of festivals. But uh, his name was Chris, and I uh, met him out in front of the stage, actually, like right as a band was on. And he gave me a little 8-bit uh, dough um, Bluetooth adapter for controllers for the NES. And I was like, I looked at it first, and I was like, what? And then I turned it around and saw it was the, the adapter for the NES. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So thank you very much. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
Thank you very much, Chris. Literally, I've been sick for two weeks, two and a half weeks. It got, it had like an infection like in my chest or something. It took a little while to get over and there's still, you know, fun things coming up every once in a while. Uh, next, we have a stack of games that I got from a friend, Erica. She actually gave me a tour of Amsterdam. I've been to Amsterdam like four times and uh, I, you know, I'm always walking around there. It's usually raining, so it's kind of like, you know, I go out for an hour or so and then have to kind of duck into a, a building, wait for the rain to stop. Well, she had a scooter, and I'm scooter also, a scooter on a scooter. Um, and we went out for like five hours riding around the city. I was on the back of the scooter because I did not trust myself to drive it. If you've never been to Amsterdam, seen, seen any videos of Amsterdam, it is like bikes, scooters, cars trolley cars just going every direction they really don't have a great structure with um <laughs> where motorcycles and stuff are allowed apparently they might be changing that they might be putting just motorcycles on the street but motorcycles are allowed to go on the bike lanes and on the sidewalks and everywhere so it was interesting a little scary but uh she took me all around we went to a few game stores and a couple of them were like game stops I think they were game mania is what they were called so there really wasn't much there for me there was one retro shop but a lot of the games they had there uh weren't like full english versions and i know some people might be like huh when i buy like a game from europe i like to get either the full english release as in like the case all the print on the back uh is in english the manual or at least a version that has english where it's like multiple different languages but at least one of them was, you know, like an English print. Um, it kind of limits my collecting. There, if, otherwise, I would just buy everything ever because there's just too many games. So um, I try to look for ones that are a little bit more specific, like uh, uh, just an English release, and then I don't have to, you know, buy everything I see. Um, but they, this one shop, the little retro shop there, didn't really have a whole lot of, like, English, English, English release titles. Um, or full English release titles. So I didn't really buy much, but uh, sh I, I bought a sandwich actually. Uh, but she had some games, mainly US releases, that she really couldn't do anything with. The shops in her area did not want to buy them. Um, and there's one Euro one, uh, Constantine, on the original Xbox. She just said, ah, they'll probably give me like nothing or like 50 cents for it. So she wasn't even going to bother. So she gave me these. Thank you very much, Erica. And thank you for the tour around town. She actually runs one of like the corn uh, groups, like fan groups, um, children of the corn, I believe it, which one it was. Uh, but I got Constantine on original Xbox. We have Marvel Ultimate Alliance with the Forza uh, on the back, the Forza 2 combo pack. Yeah, they're both in there. And we have Grand Theft Auto 5 on the 360. It was interesting to see some of the prices at the stores, like the Game Mania, GameStop style ones, because they had like last the last Call of Duty at like 65 euro. Um, they you know they still have Grand Theft Auto up there too, but some of the games, the newer release games, were quite a bit more. I think there might have been even more than the original release, unless that one came out at like 70 or 80 euro. Uh, we have Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 3, copy of Borderlands 2. And Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, probably the best one out of that stack. Um, again, thank you very much, Erica. Wasn't expecting to get U.S. <laughs> games coming over to Europe, but uh, I will gladly take them home with me. And then last up, uh, this was the coolest pickup for sure. Um, I was not expecting like this many and some pretty good quality titles here. Uh, another uh, fellow YouTuber, his YouTube channel name is Ed's. Retro Geek Out. Um, I will put that in the about section description description section down below as well. Um, and his Facebook on Facebook, he, his name is Bert. So Bert Ed, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> um, he contacted me and said, "Hey, I had some uh, PAL games and some that didn't come out in the U.S. That if you're interested in, um, you can have them." And I'm like, "Okay, sweet." But he didn't show me the titles. All I really saw was something like like that. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then we meet up. Uh, we actually filmed a little video for his channel. I'm not sure when it'll be up, but again, his link will be down below so you can go check that out uh, on his channel. And 
we filmed we filmed the video as I'm like pulling the games out of his backpack, and I was like, oh wow, there's some cool crap in here. So first we have uh, Le Strumps, which is the Smurfs on NES. Uh, we have The Lion King, which I'm not going to butcher the pronunciation <laughs> of it uh, there, but I believe this is German. I think that's the German version of that. Uh, we have Asterix, which is a pretty good platformer. Um, I think I might own this. <laughs> I can't 100% remember, um, but I might actually own that. If not, it is a, he said it's a pretty good platformer game, so uh, I want to check that one out. Um, we have... Road Fighter, and then last up, kick off a football game, or soccer, but a football game uh, for the NES, and then three Master System games, Teddy Boy, eh, it's glary, there we go, Teddy Boy, which is complete with the manual in there, cartridge, in good, cartridge is in good shape, and um, even in the U.S., like, anywhere I go, it's hard to find Master System games in good shape. That white piece of paper on the inside always gets sort of stained or dirty or whatever. Um, but this one actually is pretty damn good. We have Panic, or Bank Panic. Uh, gotta love the cover art for these games. Always, everyone always points that out, but you, you gotta. I mean, look at that. It's just really lame, <laughs> really lame cover art. Um, that one did not have the manual. And then last up, I think the coolest one, at least to me, out of all this, Predator 2. Uh, and this is complete with a big, thick manual in there. Nice condition cartridge. Um, and I don't, I don't own this one for sure, I know that. The reason why the PAL games are a little foggy in my mind if I own them or not is because I don't have, I have, I have a fair amount, maybe a couple hundred PAL release titles or games that didn't come out you know, in America. But um, I don't pick them up very often. Some of the games I've gotten were five, ten years ago or, or more. Like the first time I came to Europe on tour, I bought a bunch. I've done some trade deals uh, with people online. But it's hard for me to remember, you know, like, did I get that game ten years ago? And obviously I don't really play. Some of the PAL games I have I can't even play because I don't have, like, the correct system for it or whatever excuse or reason. Anyway, Predator 2, uh, awesome condition, very nice condition. And uh, was not expecting that. And that's a badass cover. At least they went in the side spine even has some better printing than than these lame side. Come on, Claire. Where are you? Mm, there you go. Then the lame just text on the side. So thank you again very much, Bert. That was awesome. Uh, also, Chris and Erica. And uh, I've had, again, I've had a great time the last three months on tour, um, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting home, spending some time with Katie and my cats, and going to a couple game conventions, and having the trade day on July 14th, uh, which is a Saturday. Um, so thank you all very much for watching. What have you guys gotten over the past, what, month now, since I've really done a pickups video of any type? So what have you picked up in the last month? You know, something rare, cool, awesome. Uh, or, or do you have any plans coming up for the summertime? Because obviously we are hitting in summer. Are you going to any of the conventions coming up soon? I know too many games going on this weekend. Couldn't go. I'm in France. Sorry. Um, thank you all for watching again. Love you. Talk to you later. Peace!